So, what is going on team? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, coming to you guys in my X Saber combo video. And if you guys haven't yet noticed, I just notified you guys as team. Uh, so guys, from now on, I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to call you guys my teammates because, you know what, this channel, uh, it isn't really a team without you guys. And before I used to have a teammate, uh, it used to be uh, me and my boy, but you know what, he's grown up and he's now married and he has kids. So now it's just me by myself. My brother left the team because Straddles got banned. So if you guys haven't, if you guys follow me since the beginning, you guys all knew that my brother and I uh, played Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. And, you know, we played duo videos together and things like that. But now since uh, Straddles got banned, uh, he's like, you know what, screw Yu-Gi-Oh! And he just quit as soon as Straddles got banned because Heroes was his favorite deck. So now I'm, 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 I'm pretty much by myself. Uh, I have... I really don't have anybody to to basically call a teammate. So I'm going to call you guys a team because uh, you guys are, are my team. And you guys are the reason why I have made it this far into uh, this YouTube channel. So from now on, guys, since you guys are subscribed to my channel, you guys gonna, are going to be considered as my teammate. So I love you guys. Uh, for those of you who actually stayed uh, are tuned in into my videos and things like that. You guys are absolutely amazing. So guys, let's get started with this uh, X Saber combo video. So uh, the, res the amazing response that I had on my X Saber deck profile was phenomenal. So since now you guys got that video to 200 plus likes, I'm going to be doing this combo video for you guys. So if you guys haven't yet checked out the X Saber deck profiles and you guys love to play X Sabers and you guys love the old school she, uh, you can definitely go check it out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box below of the deck profile so you guys can check out the deck. Uh, so yeah, so without further ado, let's get started with these some of these amazing combos that you can do. And uh, to keep in mind, guys, these combos are very situational, uh, but X-Sabers can get their resource, resources to, uh, to their hand really, really fast. But these combos will not always happen. So I'm going to show you guys some of the possibility combos that you guys can do with this deck and some of the combos that you guys are open to uh, while playing X-Sabers. So uh, without further ado, let's get started uh, with this X-Saber deck. Deck, uh, deck combo thingy my bob. All right, start up with uh, start up with the first combo. This isn't really a combo, but you know what? It's it's something that you guys can do. So uh, the requirements that you guys need in your hand is, of course, you need a Bogonite and you need a partial. So at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna normal summon Bogonite, activate Bogonite's effect, special summon the partial in defense position, and at this point, you're gonna synchro summon into Hayanle. And Hyanle will pop three back rolls, uh, pop your opponent's pendulum scales, and just attack for 3,300 to the face. Uh, cool. You can say that this is combo number one, but uh, that's some of the things, cool things that you can do with uh, Boga Knight and uh, Partial. Very, very standard. Uh, if you guys are an expert on X Sabers, you guys don't know that this this isn't even considered a combo. But some of you guys are new to X Sabers, and some of you guys may not know how, how X Saber works. So I'm going to show you guys basically the obvious combos that you can do. So basically, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's combo number one. Let's go off to combo 1.5. So this is the, uh, the, the combo that, you, the requirements that you need for this combo is uh, you need a uh, Boganite, Partial, and a Faltro. Okay, basically part, uh, Faltro generates every combo in this deck. Faltro is amazing. My favorite X Saber uh, monster, hands down. Amazing, guys. So what you're gonna need at this point is you're gonna know what's on Boganite, Special in the partial, and at this point now, it's really important to special in the the Faltro now, since because Faltro has the effect where you can only special summon this card from your hand while you control two more X Saber monster on board. And as you guys can see, you have two X Saber monster on board. So you're gonna special in the Faltro, and at this point, you're gonna single summon these two into a Heihanle. Heihanle will pop some back rolls, boom, boom, boom. Uh, of course, and now you're gonna activate Faltro's effect, special summon either the Bogonite uh, to push for more damage, uh, you can special on the Bogonite, proceed battle phase, attack, 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 uh, deal some more damage, and next turn you're able to special summon back uh, the partial and do some crazy combo plays that you can do. Uh, so, uh, yep, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, Just attack, attack, attack. Or if you wanna play the safer way, uh, you can special on the partial, uh, synchro these two, uh, these two handle, and of course um, the Starter Spark Dragon, into the Starter Spark Dragon. And at this point, you want to synchro Hyanle and uh, Hyanle and the partial is because you have no purpose for Hyanle. Hyanle, she already did her job. She popped the back rows. She she destroyed some things, uh, and that's that's pretty much it for what she's used for. Uh, and now you're gonna, it's really important to synchro summon using Hyanle and partial to bring out the starter spark dragon at this point. So, uh, yep, it's pretty good. So I just, this way, next turn, you're able to just um, revive back uh, the monster. Uh, any monsters, your X Saber monster from your grave, 
and then just go off uh, with your combo plays. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this combo that you guys can do. Uh, so you have a Starter Spark Dragon and a Fultro next turn. Uh, you don't have to be afraid for afraid or anything since of course Starter Spark Dragon will protect your Fultro, and of course next turn you're able to activate Fultro's effect to revive back uh, Bogre Knight or a Partial. So pretty pretty awesome. Now off to our other combo, second combo. Second combo, third combo. Uh, this is the requirements that you need. Uh, this is the board I'm gonna bring out. I'm gonna bring back. I'm gonna bring out the tree beast, the tree of Barkeon, an M7, and a starter spark dragon. Is this even possible for X Saber Sam? Uh, you guys will have to see. This is the this is the field that I'm gonna bring out right now. Uh, starter spark dragon, the tree beast, Barkeon, and Tomily M7. Okay, so this is a crazy, a uh, pretty crazy, insane combo. The tree beast and the tree Barkeon basically says GG against pendulums or any trap heavy, uh, trap heavy base deck. So pretty, pretty awesome. So this is what requirements that you need in your hand. Okay, so what you need in your hand is of course uh, two fault trolls at this point. You need a two fault troll. Uh, you need a level three in your hand. So I'm gonna use this as uh, X Saber Fall Knight in your hand, and you're gonna need a Bulger Knight. Bulger Knight generates every combo play. Okay, so these are what you need in your hand. Okay, this is the cards you need in your hand. And the graveyard, you need a partial in your grave, and you need a level three in your grave. Uh, preferably Dark Soul, because Dark Soul will get a search at the end phase. But if you have Ember, uh, Ember's Blade, this combo will work as well. So this is what you need, okay? So you either have this in your hand, or either you already have a monster on the board. So let's say that you already have a Dark Soul on the board. And so if you have, if you already have Axe Saber monster on the board, uh, Preferably level three. If not, you still need level three in your graveyard. Uh, so you need an X Saber monster on board. If you already have X Saber monster on board, let's say it's level three, you don't you don't need to have Bulger Knight. So, uh, but for for this example, I'm gonna use Bulger Knight uh, in my hand and having Dark Soul in a grave, graveyard instead. Basically the same thing. The reason why you wanna have Bulger Knight is is you wanna bring out two monsters on the board. So, yeah. So you wanna what, what you wanna do at this point is you're gonna special summon. So you're gonna special. Hopefully this combo works. Okay, I ho hopefully I can remember this combo. There's not uh, some some Bulger Knight. I activate Bulger Knight's effect. Especially in the Fall uh, the Fall Knight. Cool. You already have your stuff on the field. Awesome. Now you're gonna special summon the Fall Troll, and then special summon the Fall Troll again. Cool. Now you're gonna activate one Fall Troll's effect. Special summon the Dark Soul. Okay. Cool. Dark Soul will synchro some. Uh, yeah, I, th I think this is right. No, you're especially in the partial first. You just overlay these two. So this is your graveyard into a hand lay. Cool. So you already used this. Hand lay will pop some back rows. Amazing. Then I can activate this Fultrals effect. Special summon the partial in your from your graveyard. Now you already used both. Now you're gonna overlay these two. No, I'm gonna special summon. Sorry, Dark Soul. Like I'm gonna lay over these two into M7. Where's the M7? I'm pretty sure I'm doing this combo wrong. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Uh, why did I bring up Barkeon? This is a total jokes. Uh, yeah, M7. Now you're gonna activate M7's effect to detach the Fall Troll. Okay, this is what you have on the field so far. Okay, you already used him, and you have these guys on the field. Four monsters. Add Bad of Troll to your hand. At this point, you're gonna special summon the Fall Troll. Synchro summon these two into a Barkeon. Yeah, this combo is totally wrong, but this is another combo you guys can do. Yeah, I mean, this Fultro's effect. <laughs> Special Summon, of course, the Partial. Now, you know, Synchro Summon these two into a Star Spark Dragon. And this is what you're left with. Okay? But you know what? The next combo I'm going to do, I promise, guys, is going to bring out Naturi Beast and Naturi Barkeon. I, I promise. I guarantee you guys. So this is pretty much the board that you have right now. You, next turn, you can always, you're going to bring back some monsters with Fultro, and you already have a protection with Starter Spark Dragon, and you already have Barkeon on board. So this way, this combo already popped three, okay, this combo is pretty good, because it already destroyed three opponent's back rolls. Uh, you're able to bring out 20, uh, you know, you know, you you already have game at this point. Uh, at this point, so it's pretty pretty good. So th so this is another combo that you can do, but it, it did not bring you out bring you guys out in the tree beast. So I'll show you guys the combo with the tree beast right now. So this combo that you that you're gonna need is, is I'm literally gonna bring out these guys, and instead of a handlay, I'm gonna bring out um the tree beast. I promise. This is the board that I'm gonna bring out. Okay, it's insane. It's probably the best board that I actually ever came up with. Okay, so I promise, I promise this time I just messed up. It's okay. In live, people make mistakes. So. Screw you, my Bulger Knight. Bulger Knight just sucks because he can only go into a hand uh, So this is what you need in, in your hand. Okay, so you need double Fall Troll, a level 3 Fall Knight, 
a monster on the field, preferably a Dark Soul, and you need this in your graveyard. So this is all you need, a monster on board, these cards in your hand, and this card in your graveyard. Okay, so at this point you're going to know what's on Photo Knight. Special them in the Fall Trolls, and then you can special them in the Fall Troll. Cool, cool, cool. You guys see that? You guys see that? Okay, so now this is what you have on board. You haven't used the Fall Troll yet. Cool, cool, cool. Now, you're going to single summon these two into my boy, Nutria Beast. Where's Beast? Okay, that's one. That's one piece of the combo done. Okay, cool. Nutria Beast. You're going to activate Fall Troll's effect. Special summon out. The partial. You activate this other Fortress effect. Special summon the Dark Soul. No. No, you can special summon the Dark Soul. You can special summon with the other Fortress, the Full Knight. This is what you have on the board so far. Now it's really important now to go into M7. So you're gonna activate this. You have this in your graveyard still. To go into M7. Okay? You're gonna attach M7, add back a Fortress to your hand. Cool. Now it's important to special summon the Fortress. Because you already have two exterior monsters anymore. Special summon the Fortress. Now you're gonna single summon these two. And then your on. Look at that. Look at that. Now you're gonna activate Fortress effect. Special summon back the partial. It's up to you guys at this point. If you guys wanna be greedy and go into Gotham's, you guys can. You can bring out the full knight. But I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna single summon these two. Into a starter spark dragon. And here is the crazy board, guys. Look at that. Boom, check a loom, 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 boom. Look at that. That's the crazy board that you guys can do. Look at that. It's it, isn't that beautiful? Having the tree bark on, having the tree beast and start a spark dragon. That's that's insane. And next turn, you can always bounce back your points monster and just push for more damage. This is already game, by the way, guys. More than eight thousand. So uh pretty pretty awesome. That's another combo you guys can do. There you go, guys. I, I did it. I did it. The crazy. Pretty much crazy. Can X Saber do these things, Sam? Yes, they can. X Sabers are amazing. Probably one of the funnest decks to play ever. So now uh, that's combo number three, four. I I, I lost track, but this is this is also show you guys another combo. So instant fusion, uh, full troll, another full troll, and you need a level two in your hand. Uh, let's say you have a partial. Yeah, partial in your hand, and you, yeah, you need partial in your hand, and of course you need a dark soul in your grave. Four cards again, one cards in your grave. Pretty, pretty god. Pre pretty, pretty awesome. And guys, remember, it's always easy to access into Fall Trolls because Dark Souls searches, so it's not hard to get Fall Trolls to your hand. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So, what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna activate Instant Fusion, Special Summoning, your best friend Norden, okay? Norden, Norden will activate its effect, Special Summon the Dark Soul. Cool. It's important to normal summon the Partial. Now, it's really important to Special Summon out the Fall Troll, okay? Cool. Pretty much it. You know what? This combo only needs one Voltro anyways. Yeah, you need to have two Voltros. If you have two Voltros, the better. I'll show you guys, show you guys the basic combo. Oh, no, here. Let's just say that we have the second Voltro. Okay? This is the second Voltro. Let's say we just have. Okay, you're going to special summon the Voltro. And now at this point, is you're going to single summon these guys. No. Yeah. No, no. Screw it. Screw it. I cheated. I have a second Voltro in my hand. We're going to special summon the second Voltro again. I'm gonna single summon these three. Look at that. Into your graveyard. Look, I can't make up my mind, guys. <laughs> Into uh, Trishula Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Now, Trishula is gonna banish some cards on the field. Banish, banish, banish. Cool. Absolutely amazing. Awesome. Uh, so, at this point, now what's gonna happen is, is that you're gonna activate one Fall Troll's effect. Special summon the Partial. You're gonna activate the other Fall Troll. Special summon the, uh, the Dark Soul. So, now what you do at this point is really important to go into M7. Because M7 is, is the boss, and he's the best, probably the best combo piece uh, next to Fultro in the deck. Until M7. M7 is going to detach an XYZ material to add himself back to his hand. So now, since you still have two exterior monsters, we're going to special summon the Fultro. Now you're going to single summon with these two bad boys right here that's just waiting. Until a Natria Beast. Look at that. Now you're going to activate Fultro's effect. Special summoning a Parshul. Parshul and a Fultro. Will help you go into a starter spark dragon because this combo is amazing. Look at that. One, you banish three cards that your opponent has. Two, you have a automatic spell negation card on the field. Three, you have a protector on board. Four, you can add back a monsters from your graveyard. You can bounce back monsters. Absolutely disgusting. So this is a combo you can do to bring out Trish and these guys on the board. Pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. 
Yep, some basic combos that you guys can do. Now, uh, off to the last combo that I'm going to show you guys is um, the hand loop, okay? So this is probably the, one of the best OTKs that you guys can do. You, uh, uh, this combo is probably better better than the wind-up loop. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. The, the wind-up loop is the best combo. Uh, yeah. uh, so this com But you know, the wind-up the wind combo took two cards. This card requires a lot of cards to do the hand loop, okay? So what you will need in your hand is, of course, you need one Faltro. You need my boy Rags. And you need my boy, you need my boy, Bogart. Oh yeah, Bogart Knight. Okay, so three cards in your hand. No, not a lot. Three cards in your hand. That's all you need. You need a Faltro and a Partial in your graveyard. The combo isn't hard. If you have this late game, uh, you pretty much win the game. So this, this will bring out four monsters. Your opponent will lose four, five cards in your hand. So it's pretty awesome. It's an unstoppable hand loop. The only thing that can stop this hand loop is an effect failure. And if they, they if they even maxi, they're just gonna deck out. That's how good this combo is. If your opponent has maxi, take the maxi challenge is because in the end of the day, they're just gonna lose because this combo is just phenomenal. Uh, the only thing that can stop this combo is an effect failure or a break two skill. So at this point, what you're gonna do at this point is you're gonna special summon the bo normal summon the Bogonite, activate Bogonite's effect, special summon the Rags. My boy Rags, okay, cool. Rags will get this effect to add back a Fultro to your hand. So at this point, you have one card in your graveyard, two cards in your hand, which are the double Fultro, okay? You're gonna special in the Fultro. Uh, activate Fultro, uh, yeah, special in the Fultro. Activate Fultro's effect, special in the Partial, okay? Partial and Bulger Knight will go into Hanley, because Hanley is, is, is the best, okay? Let's go into Hanley. Hanley will pop three back rows, and uh, at this point, it's really important to special summon out the second Fultro in your hand. So you special in these Fultro in your hand. He's used. He isn't used. Look at that. Now you're gonna act, uh, activate Fultro's effect. Special summon out the partial. That, that's it, okay? So you have a partial on board. Ragagora. So these are the five monsters you have on board. So you already used both of them. Cool. Now you're gonna overlay these two. Into, of course, say it. Say it with me. If, you, if Say it with me. M7. Look at that. Mm, I made you guys say it. Uh, so M7, M7 will activate this effect, detach Faltro, add the Faltro back to your hand. Okay guys, now uh, this is pretty much awesome. Uh, so what you do at this point, you're going to special summon the Faltro. Okay, this is unused. He's not used, okay? He's promised. Okay, now you're going to use single summon with the used one. With the used, he's used already. Okay, cool. These three. Into a... Gotums. Got Got him. <laughs> So you bring into got him's ha got him these nuts. Uh, I don't know what what I just did there, but no, it was it was terrible. So you're gonna bring out Godams. Now this is when your loop happens, okay? So let's say your opponent has five cards. Let's go. These these are the cards you have in your hand. Okay. Hopefully it fits on camera. Five cards, okay? This these are the five cards they have in their hand. Okay, they have five cards right now. Okay. So now you're gonna activate Fultro's effect. Special in the regs. Okay, Rags will get this effect, add a Fultro to your hand. Cool. Now you're going to activate Gotham's effect. Tribute the Fultro. Sorry, they lose one card. Boom, they have four more cards in hand. Cool. Now, you're going to special summon the, uh, the second Fultro in your hand. Okay, so now I just don't use this effect yet. Do not wait. Relax, guys, relax. And you're going to activate Gotham's effect. It should be the Ragagura. Sorry. You move a card in your hand. So now you don't, they have three cards in your hand. Now you're not going to activate Fultro's effect. You have these two cards. You have, you have these three cards in your graveyard. Now remember, these three cards in your graveyard, guys. You're going to activate Fultro's effect. Especially in the Ragagora. Ragagora's effect, uh, effect uh, his effect, if you guys don't know his effect, his effect is that when he's normal or special summon, add X favorite monster for your graveyard to your hand. So you're going to special the Ragagora, add back the Fultro to your hand. Cool. Now you're going to, now what you're going to do is you're going to activate Gotham's effect. Tribute Fultro. New card in their hand. Sorry. Special in this Fultro that you add with your hand, Ragagora. Activate Gotham's effect. Tribute the Ragagora. Sorry. You have one more card in your hand. Now you activate Fultro's effect. Special in the Ragagora. Ragagora, add the Fultro to your hand. Cool. Now, you're going to activate Gotham's effect. Take this to the grave. Send Ragagora to the grave, right? Sorry. No more. No more cards. So you already lost five cards. Now you're going to special summon the Fultro. Okay. Activate Fultro's effect. Special summon the partial. Okay. Partial. Now you're gonna synchro summon these two into a Star Spark Dragon. And at this point, you have a 31 beater on board, you have a 25 protector, you have a monster reborn every turn, and you have a compulsory evacuation device slash Madolche Queen Teramisu 
slash Virgil Rockstar Bernie Biss on the board. Your opponent has no cards in their hand, and I'm assuming they have no back rows because, yeah, they have no, yeah, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, they lost. <laughs> the only thing that you're losing to now is a mere force. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. And now you're just gonna attack. And now, yeah, this is the praise, basically the crazy unstoppable hand loop. Uh, yeah, guys, these are the combos that you guys can do with this deck. I showed you guys five, five combos. Um, I believe. Uh, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that I took 20 minutes of your time and 20 minutes of your lives. But if you guys stayed for this combo, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching, team. I really appreciate you guys. For those of you who want to be a part of this team, just subscribe to my channel. Uh, that would be absolutely amazing, guys. Just subscribe, and you'll be part of this team. And uh, yeah, this is Sam from Team Channel Sam signing out. Peace, guys. And let me explain to you guys one more thing. I know that these combos are very situational and depends on all the cards that you have in your hand. But remember, guys, X Sabers are really consistent since because they play these cards. So you have Upstar Goblins, uh, Reinforce of the Army to search up your Fall Knights, your Parshul. You have Tenki to search up your Borger Knight and your X Saber Ragura. You have. Um, the basically the most important search card in your deck is a Dark Soul. So basically, Dark Soul gives access to any of your X Saber monsters. So depends depending on the cards you have in your hand, uh, Dark Soul will do the job for you where he searches any X Saber monster from your deck to your hand. So remember, guys, these combos aren't really hard to do. It all depends on the cards you have in your hand in the graveyard. And most of these combos will work during mid game, uh, mid or late game, uh, because. Uh, the longer you progress in the game with this deck, the more resource, resources you will have in your graveyard. So the more resources you have in your graveyard, the more chances that you are going to be able to do these combos. So I thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me on my Facebook. I'll leave you guys on my Facebook in the description box below. Message me. I always reply to you guys. Uh, you, can, you can ask anybody. Um, on YouTube, uh, for those who act who actually messaged me, I always me I always respond back. I promise. Uh, so yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and you guys want to be a part of this team, so hit that subscribe button and hit this like button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is my X Saber combo video, and just Sam from Team Channel on Sam signing out. Peace out, guys.